Good morning you two, hope you are all safe and well. This is your Wednesday's literacy lesson. So this week we are continuing on with our winter poetry. But before we move on to that, let's have a look at your spellings today. So who can remember what is a suffix? Um, I'd like you to turn to your grown-up and see if you can tell them or remember what you know about suffix. Or can you give an example? What is a suffix? Pause the video and then come back. And I will reveal the answer for you. Okay, so what is a suffix? A suffix is a group of letters that can be added onto the end of a root word. A root word is like the main word to slightly change its meaning. So for example here, I have walk and walk is the root word. And if I add the suffix ing, it becomes walking. Now today we've got we're looking at the er uh suffix. Okay, so let's see what we can find out a bit more about this suffix, this type of suffix. The suffix er uh is added to the end of an adjective, and an adjective is a describing word. Okay. And it compares two things together. So for example, if I had a, a root word is small. And if I put it into a sentence, it would become, the girl was smaller than the boy. Okay, I'm comparing two things. I'm comparing the girl to the boy. And Okay. So today, just like always, um, underneath your learning objective for Wednesday, the 13th of January, um, I'd like you to write your spellings. So it says, can you add er uh to these words? So for example, if I had loud, the children were louder than their teacher. I'm adding the er uh suffix. So keep looking at the spelling carefully. So I'd like you to have a go at um, adding the suffix er uh, to these root words here in blue. So I'm going to show you the first example and then you can have a go underneath so you'll need your pencils at the ready. Okay, so if I have the word hard and if I add the suffix er, uh, it becomes harder. So I want you to have a go and see um, what you can come up with. Pause the video over here and then come back and check your answers. All right, let's check through the answers carefully so you can tick these as you go along if your words are, if your spellings are correct. If you've made a mistake and if the word is not spelt correctly, I'd like you to go back and write the spellings underneath or next to it. So I have dark and it becomes darker. Quiet becomes quieter. High becomes higher. Bright becomes brighter and deep becomes deeper. Oop, there we are. Okay, so looking at our grammar for this week, then we're looking at apostrophes for contraction. Now, when we have two words and we squeeze them together or put them together, we take out some letters or uh, one letter or more letters two or more letters to make a shorter word. So here's some words that go into the squeeze-o-matic machine over here. And it says, can you write down the words that should come out? So I've got four words here. So I've got are not, he had, she will, I have. So what I'd like you to do underneath your spellings to see if you can write what are the shortened words, where will the apostrophe come for these words. So pause the video and have a go at writing it and then come back and check your answers. Okay, let's have a look then. So are not becomes aren't. He had becomes he'd. She will becomes she'll. And I have becomes 
eyes. So can you see my apostrophes are where the letters are missing? And that's where I've included it. Okay, so let's go back and recap what is an expanded noun phrase. Turn to your grown-up and see if you can tell them what is an expanded noun phrase or maybe give them an example. Okay, an expanded noun phrase is where the noun is described in lots of detail. So we're adding adjectives to describe. So we have two or more adjectives. So watch my video clip here and it will give you some ideas. So, okay, in my video then, the noun in this case was goats and plump and juicy were the adjectives they were describing what the goat looks like, okay? So, these are my examples. So, I have the muddy blue car. Now, car is the noun and muddy and blue describe what the car looks like. Okay, I'd like you to quickly turn to your grown-up and see if you can tell me in those three examples below what are the nouns and what are the adjectives. You do not need to write those down, you just need to share them with your grown-up. Okay, so today's task is you're going to edit and improve your poem. So yesterday you wrote your own poem, your winter poem. And today we're going to improve them. Let's have a look what we need to do. So for edit and improve, these, these are the following. Um, it's like a checklist, I suppose, um, that you can use to check if you've got all these things in your poem. So let's read through and I'll share these together with you. Can I include a title for my poem? Can I add the features if they are missing? So, for example, you rhyme, adjectives, um, onomatopoeia or alliteration. Can I up-level my adjectives? Can I improve them? Can I make sure that they are spelt correctly? Can I use my phonics mat to check my spellings? And can I check each letter is formed correctly? So those are the five um, points that we are looking at and we're trying to improve. So you can use this as your checklist and see if you can make the changes. So here's my poem. So here's my waggle, one that I have done. I've included my checklist over here so I can see it a bit better. So let's read through my poem. So I've got... Cold, freezing snow, white like the clouds, snowball fight, having lots of fun. Okay, so I'm going to go back and check, use my checklist. It says, can I include a title for my poem? Now, I do have a heading up here, and you can use this one if you like. You can have winter poem, but I'm going to add my own title. So I'm going to call this one Snow. Ooh, let me just change that. Okay, so that's my title. I can always underline my title, so you might want to use a ruler to help you to show you that's the title of your poem. Okay. So let's have a look at the next one. So I've included a title. So if you've not got that, you need to include a title. Can I add the features if they are missing? So cold, freezing, snow. So I have used expanded noun phrases. So that sounds good. White like the clouds. Now again, that's a really good description. Snowball fight. Having lots of fun. So I can say I have done that. I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to tick off the things that I have done. 
So I have got a poem, a title for my poem. I've checked if I've got the features. Can I up level my adjectives? Now mine sounds really good, but I want you to go back and check if you've used expanded noun phrases. Have you used two or more adjectives to describe a noun? You can add cold snow, but I, I think it sounds much better when you're using an expanded noun phrase to make your writing a lot more interesting. So my adjectives are okay in my example. It says, can I use my phonics map to check my spellings? Okay, so I've got, let's go back, so cold. So in this case, this is the phase 5 O, but I need to um, check my spelling. So sometimes in phase 5, we have alternative spellings. So we do look at the O, W diagraph, but in this case, it just only needs an O. So I can adjust that on here, but you can use a pen or a pencil. In fact, it would be better if you are using a pen because it will show up a bit more better and you'll know where you need to make the changes, just like how we do at school. So you can use a blue pen if you have one or any other color if you like. Okay, cold, freezing, snow. Now that sounds better. White like hmm i think i'm missing something here i think because it's a i split i diagram i missed off the e so i'm going to put that in to make that correct the cloud now over here i've got the ow sound which is in phase three which is correct but i need the phase five our sound so I'm going to think clearly and maybe use my um, phonics word mat to help me. Okay, cloud. Okay, or you can ask your grown ups to help you to spell the words correctly. Or, okay, let's have a look. Snowball. Now, ball is a bit of a tricky word because we can hear the O sound, but it's actually a A. Okay. Snowball fight. Having lots of. Mm. Now, this is one of our tricky words. And of doesn't have a v. Although you can hear the v sound, it has a f. Okay? The sound we hear is of. It's a tricky word. Fun. So let's read it together. So I have checked my spellings. So that's okay, so I can give that a tick. And it says, can I check each letter is formed correctly? Now, it's a little bit tricky for me to do that because I have typed my poem, but I'd like you to think about your handwriting, think about your letter formation. Okay, so once you've done all those, you can give that a tick. Read it through, check that it all makes sense. So once again, go back. So snow, cold, freezing snow, white like the clouds, snowball fight, having lots of fun. Now, I'd like you to have a go at editing your poem that you wrote yesterday. Okay, so hopefully I shall see what well, speak to you tomorrow um, and then we will be presenting our poem, writing it up in you. Goodbye.